We doing this shit real raw and uncut. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn it to your girl because it's a vibe. You know who it is. It's, it's a band in a building. And I hope y'all day is going pretty good. Pretty good. I hope it's going good. Yeah, it's 6 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock right now. So let me know in time. Let me know in the comments what time it is right now. What time you started watching this video. But today we is reacting to The Simpsons. Because, you know, the Simpsons, they are good at predicting shit. Like, I am not going to cap. A lot of the Simpsons show has predicted a lot of shit that happened in life. I want to know the answer behind it. Can you see into the future? All right. A new disease. No one's immune. No, we just have to blame it on something that's in every household. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about 15 times the Simpsons predicted the future. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So you want to win an iPhone 12, maybe yeah. a MacBook Pro. How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden Jeez. message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Corruption scandal of FIFA. I'm sure you are familiar with the World Cup. Oh, yeah, that's the thing that guys at the dry cleaners get so excited about every four years. <laughs> in season 25, episode 16, that's made a hilarious. In they, about the corruption. They be having that shit on in the laundry, <laughs> in the laundry mat, bro. They be having like three TVs in the laundry mat. One be having the news, one be having the sports, one be having fucking drama, like reality in TV. FIFA, and what became a reality in 2015. I'm afraid there has been an epidemic of referees being bribed to throw games. In Simpsons, the World Football Federation representative who asked Homer for assistance to repair the organization's reputation was not clearly named as a member of FIFA, and he was arrested later as a result. His arrest was mm, quite... That's crazy. They were spot on. Wow. ...to those of the real-life FIFA officials who were arrested due to a corruption scandal in 2015. That's Further, crazy. The I forgot all about that. I heard about that, but I didn't read read up on that, you know, because I'm not into, like... I don't know. I'm not into drama, basically, because I just feel like it's a distraction. So I'm not really into, like, drama. But I've heard about that. Like, not even though that's not drama, but I'm not into, like into watching shit like that you know i'm not into watching what's on the news if you get what i'm saying against germany grace that default in season 23 episode 10 homer simpson made a prediction about 2012 and that came true after three years in the episode homer e online bro when i get when i get like i'll be like when i get surprised about shabba as <laughs> commentator on a tv show a ticker ran across the bottom of the tv screen that showed that europe put greece on ebay after a period of three years greece became the first european country to default on the imf and as a result the country faced a serious economic crisis smart watches oh blast go to plan b <laughs> In the same episode of FaceTime, the episode also predicted the smartwatch. In this episode, Lisa's... And young. that's crazy because all these shows, like, bro, came out before, like, a lot... Bro, it's crazy because, I, obviously, like, this shit came out before it actually happened, but... Bro, what the fuck? By using his watch. And that became a reality after 19 years when a new feature of voice recognition was introduced in that's smartwatches. Crazy. Thanks to Google, Apple, and Samsung. Legalized gambling. Bro, y'all gotta look in between the motherfucking lines, bro. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Well, I uh, hesitate to bring this up, but a number of cities have rejuvenated their economies with uh, legalized gambling. Episode 10 of season 5 predicted in 1993 legalizing gambling, and it came true. Yeah, but I probably was a bored because, baby, before I could walk, probably before, when I knew. Yeah, I never knew that gam I knew I know gambling illegal in certain states, but I never knew that gambling was like all all illegal. 
You know, okay, 2003. So in the episode, Springfield decided to legalize gambling. Mr. Burns opened a casino where the German magician performed a routine, seeming to spoof the long-running Las Vegas Siegfried and Roy show. By building a casino, I could tighten my stranglehold on this dismal town. Well, I like the part about the gambling. Dreadfully, a bit in which the animated duo attacked by their tiger. Bro, I remember that. And it's crazy. They Only 10 years later, when Roy Horn was mauled on stage by a white victim, the result of the tiger attack, he became partially paralyzed. Faulty mm. voter machine. Ooh. Mm. Electronic vote. I remember that shit. Everybody was saying, like, I forgot what okay. happened. Season 20, episode 4. This episode. Like, that, that shit went crazy. Like, everybody was saying, like, the votes was, like, fake, like, Blah, blah blah like that shit was crazy like i think like oh my god it actually made a prediction in 2008 and that became true in 2012 in a bid inspired by the 2008 presidential election homer wanted to vote for barack obama but instantly he knew that there were some flaws in the electric voting systems when simpson tried to push the censor for obama the vote tallied up for john mccain one vote for mccain Thank you. <laughs> I wonder if that's what really happened. No, Let I want to vote for Obama. Two votes for McCain. <gasps> Come on, it's time for a change. And four years later, this became a reality when people tried to vote for Obama and tallied up for his opponent, Mitt Romney, instead. Six votes. That was real? So this happened two times? Like, with a... This happened two times? But different situations. Because it was another situation. That's crazy. I didn't know about that one. What? See, how you learn something new every damn day. For President McCain. Hey, I only meant one of those votes for McCain. The presidency of Donald Trump. At the time of the election in 2016. See, this one got famous. This one was what? Everyone was sure that Hillary Clinton was going to become the new president of the U.S. Some experts even made predictions that Hillary Clinton was going to get a massive win. But all the predictions were wrong when Trump won the election. Now let's talk about The Simpsons. This happened in the episode Bart to the Future and featured a future timeline in which Lisa was basically the president of the US. And she stated some lines that showed that Donald Trump was the president before. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from- See, everybody was saying this was gonna happen. Hold on, let me- President let me Trump. Watch. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. As per the writers, they actually try to warn America, and that seems logical. The virus. This episode made four predictions about what would happen in 2020. First and foremost, the episode predicted the virus outbreak via the Osaka flu, and some people from... When I see shit like this, this shit, it just, it just pisses me off because it's just like... I don't know if y'all really thinking how I'm thinking. Like when I see shit like this, like stuff back in the day that predicted the future, I just I really get pissed off because I just I don't want virus to Springfield through the boxes of content, and they sneezed into the box, and the virus lasted until it went to Springfield. What the? So that's what they mean when they said that they were spraying in the air. <laughs> God, he's shooting the damn fire. <laughs> That's hilarious. As a result, the people became desperate for a cure, but they did not listen to the medical advice of the doctors in the area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's funny. Also, the people did not respect the social distancing and wearing masks. This, this plague doesn't scare me. I've constructed a germ-free chamber for myself. Not a single microbe can get in or out. <laughs> the third <laughs> prediction was about dangerous killer bees that also became a reality in the U.S. We've been invaded by a swarm of killer bees. My microphone is no microphone at all. It's bees. Am I being badly stung? Yes, and it hurts. <laughs> the fourth prediction was about the wrongful arrest of Marge which led to civil unrest, and that became a reality in the form of George Floyd. Take her away, Marge. If you take me away, then who's gonna watch my kids? But Marge, you're being arrested? Virtual reality food. No, is that? No, 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 no. Don't say that was a George Floyd situation and it wasn't. Boy. 
Mm-hmm. I thought they was really about to show like you the might... whole like how what happened to him. I really thought it was gonna be like a cartoon version, and that would piss me off too because it's just like. Let me keep my mouth shut. Flabbergasted to hear about this prediction. If you cannot eat pizza or pasta in the real world, then soon you'll be able to try it in the virtual world. We all know that this is a- How you gonna eat it? How you gonna taste it? How are you gonna taste the food? How are you gonna taste the food? You gonna see the food, but how are you gonna- Like, how are you gonna take it and- Like, I'm scared for the future, y'all. I really am. Era of virtual reality. I'm not. I feel like I just seen a movie about virtual reality, and it's just like, what if that shit actually happens? Like, motherfuckers can't take the shit off, and hell no. The metaverse is the trend. Simpsons have already made a prediction about the future. Like in 2030, Homer and Marge chug down on virtual rubbish through virtual reality. I don't believe that. The glass. That's hilarious. If that happens. <sighs> and feeding. Hold on. Please don't tell me it already happened. Because we watch predictions. <laughs> Hold on. Ain't no way motherfuckers eat out their motherfucking RV. Is it blowing like air in their mouth and it's like a pizza taste of air? Because I understand like, like basically like one of these. Like you got the taste in them. Like, you could taste it. This would be something like that. Tubes. Homer chugged down a bunch of donuts. In real life, scientists are making it possible to experience VR dining. And you can also experience the taste with it. I mean, I hope the, they get and brought, brought food. Like, food similar to what they're looking at. And food. The researchers at Cornell University are making a big statement that if you taste the cheese in VR, then you would feel a better taste. Baby translator. I can, I can low-key understand that if they go do it like this, like, but if it's actual liquid or, like, something, like, with a texture, I hope y'all don't feel safe eating something out of a, out of a machine. I hope it's, like, like, this type of, like, taste, because you can most definitely taste, <laughs> you can most definitely taste this, and if you could, you could probably put it in forms of food. I believe that. Surely you'd be surprised. It's a baby translator. It measures the pitch, the frequency, and the urgency of a baby's cries. Then it tells whoever's around, in plain English, exactly what the baby what? is trying to say. However, this does not mean that your child would talk and translate the language himself. In fact, scientists would make an instrument that would assist you in... When it came to my son, it was only about... When he was a newborn, it was only about like a couple things he cried over. Food, burp, shit, any of that. Like, that's the only thing he cried over, for real, for real. Now, if he, like, had, like, a problem, you would obviously could tell, like, if his, if his, uh, the fever would be running. Like, if he obviously had, like, a real bad problem, their fever would be running. So, you could obviously tell, especially if they sick, their fever would be running. So, you could tell, oh, it's from them being sick, but... That's how I knew, because he would be hot as hell, and I'm like, oh, something wrong with him. <laughs> something wrong with him. Let's see where I, what's going on. <laughs> but I, all of that, I ain't never really had a problem. So, I don't know. It may be harder for other people, I guess. I don't know. Surely, if it happens, then it would really help the mothers to understand their kids better. Let me tell you one thing. If this machine comes out, there would be a long queue outside the stores to buy it for their kids. Still, an app called Cry Translator has been revealed that interprets the crying of a kid and determines whether your child is hungry, stressed, bored, or something else. FaceTime. In episode 19, season 6, Lisa's wedding ceremony predicted the future in 1995. <laughs> However, it became a reality in 2010. That episode, Lisa talked with Marge through a video call. This feature has become much more popular with the name FaceTime, the shape of the universe. What do you think about the shape of the universe? Five episode minutes. 22 of season 10 was aired in 1999 when no one had any idea about the truth behind the shape of the universe. The title of the episode was They Saved Lisa's Brain. They have well-known physicist Stephen Hawking as a cameo. While talking to him, Hawking says alive? that the theory of the universe is the shape of a donut. Your theory of a donut shaped universe is. <coughs> over. I may have to steal it. The predictions are almost true. 
And according to the scientist, <coughs> the universe true. has a donut Suck. shape. Three-eyed fish. One. Mm, I remember two. that. Great. In season two, episode four, Bart was fishing in a pond near the Springfield nuclear power plant and caught a fish having three eyes. <laughs> All right, we need to light. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't that because of nuclear? Like, oh yeah. At I the knew time, it. it looked like a joke for kids. But after a period of 20 so years, it became a reality. In, real in Cordoba province of Argentina, well, a fisherman caught there, a three-eyed fish. And one life. thing that was astonishing was that the lake was near a power plant. Exactly mm. what happened in the Simpsons episode, Robot Takeover. You've got to listen to me. Elementary chaos theory tells us that all robots will eventually turn against their masters and run amok. At this time, we all know that AI is significantly playing its role in today's life. Moreover, scientists have developed a number of robots as well, like drones and police dogs, and they're used in many operations as well. Another company is See, making- See, that's why you gotta- <laughs> I swear, do you think I would, like, sit down or, like, stop running if I see a drone dog chasing me? Do you honestly think I'm gonna stop? That motherfucker about to take my whole arm off, bro, in one bite. He gonna- <laughs> And it's just like, that's like somebody taking a knife and just chopping my... No, I'm going to run for my fucking life. I'm going to shoot that... I am be. I don't care. I'm not going to let no drone dog bite me. Like, what the fuck do I look like? Hell no. I'm going to run for my motherfucking life. And you right I was running, bitch. The fuck I look like letting a drone dog run up on me and knowing this motherfucker about to bite the fuck out of me. And the fuck about to take my whole arm off, bro. And one bite, he going <laughs> to... And it's just like, that's like somebody taking a knife and just chopping my... No. No, 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 no. Robots that can even interact with people and learn something new. <laughs> no. Hospitals are also using robotic machines in surgery. There are a number of episodes in The Simpsons that predicted the robot takeover. One of the episode's names was Itchy and Scratchy Linen in season six. In the episode, the animated robots caused huge damage to the world. Oh, for gosh sakes, what now? <laughs> Coming on to me. Prediction for World War Three. This was the most prediction of all. There are various reasons that if World War Three happened, then it would be the most destructive. However, no one has seen the World War so far. But Simpsons have predicted that another World War would erupt soon. In one of the episodes, Homer and Lisa's fiance was drinking in a bar. And when the bartender, Mo, found out that Lisa's fiance was from England, then he made fun of him by saying, We saved you in World War Two. Lisa's fiance said that we saved you in World War Three. You know, I rather like this pub. Oh, an English boy, eh? You know, we saved your ass in World War Two. Yeah, well, we saved your ass in World War Three. That's true. Unfortunately, this shows that a new war is going to break out soon. But let's hope that this prediction won't come true. Nobel Peace Prize winner. In episode one of season 22, which was aired in 2010, this episode looked like a normal one. But after six years, many fans noted a specific scene in the cartoon episode that made a surprising prediction. In that episode, Krusty invited Homer to join him at the Nobel Peace Prize ceremony held in Norway. The kids in the cartoon decided to make bets about who was going to win the Peace Prize. All the kids picked different names, but surprisingly, Milhouse's guess about Ben R. Holstrom became a reality in 2016. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with us. Uh, boy, be crazy shit. Crazy shit. I know everything on that show ain't been predicted, but... It's a number of things that are. And you just wonder which one is next. I don't know. But y'all, I hope y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all send us to the girl because it's a vibe. And we out here. Make sure y'all comment down videos y'all would love to see me react to. Make sure y'all check your girl out. All the info going to be in the description box down below. Peace and farewell, you guys.